Okay, um, here's a tutorial in making a, let's say you're making a one-page uh, brochure, or we can, let's say two-page brochure, and um, so it would kind of look like this one. It's, the size is 8 and a half by 11, it's a letter size um, page, and uh, okay, so that's the objective of our project, and what we're going to do is we're going to um, start from scratch. So, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this first. And let's just leave the uh, the background here. Now, uh, in, in, I'm going, we have to plan this out first. So we're going to do three columns. So in order to put the three columns, you have to create guidelines, you know, guidelines here to create the, uh, you know, for, for, but but first of all, we just go to view first and click on guidelines to view guidelines. Now I already um, put guidelines here. What I did, I divided eleven into three, so roughly that will be three point six something. So so these are equal spaces now. So three equal spaces. Okay. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to create a paragraph text. Okay, not artistic text, but paragraph text. So, but first of all, we go to text first. We want to view, we want to see the text frames first. So make sure you go to text, paragraph, text frame, and click on show text frames. Okay, so now I click on the text tool, and then I make a box. Okay, so that's one. This is two. And then this is three. Okay. Okay. So I got three columns right now. You can adjust it, like if you're not happy with the with the spacing and stuff like that. Okay. So what I did, I copied uh, text from the internet. I just a uh, dummy text, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm going to paste it here. But before that, how would Coreldra know which one, which one's the flow of the columns? Would it start from here? here here or here right so of course we're going to start from here so we have to link this paragraph box par paragraph text boxes first so what we're going to do okay it's kind of reverse okay the last one should be chose first so i'll click this one because that's my last column and then you hit shift hold shift and then click the second one and then the first one okay so it's kind of reverse and then you go to text okay and uh, okay you go to text okay now what we're going to do is we're going to par go to paragraph text and see this one there's link you go to paragraph text frame and it says link so when you click on link you would see there are arrows now okay you see that blue arrows it says here it starts from here and this one's the second and this one's the last one so that's the flow of your columns now in the internet I cut some dummy dummy text. But first of all you have to decide here when you click on the paragraph uh, box you have to decide how many points. I would say 12 points for me for this uh, project. So then I just click on the first paragraph paragraph text and I do control V. Okay. Since my text is not enough, I can take control V again. Control V, Control V, and then Control V. Okay, so you notice now the flow would be from here to here. Now see if I'm going to make this smaller. Okay, notice these two uh, columns would change too. Say I decide to make that smaller. See so you notice this one's this one's uh, changed. Uh, you know the text placement too because it's linked together. So that's how you do it. Now for the, of course you want, this is justified, uh, full justified. Now if you want to go to change the, uh, you know, the justification, you click on text, character, format. And then you can always go here, say for example, I want left justified. And see, notice that one, that one changed too. Okay, okay I'll, I'll do a full justify. Then I can close this one. Now you can also use uh, drop caps here, 
drop cops is when you know the first letter of the paragraph is bigger so what you do you click on your text tool and go to the first line here okay so once you're in the first line it doesn't matter where as long as you're in the first line you go to text and go to drop cap click on text and click on drop cap and then use drop cap and then preview and then click OK and I'll zoom out and there you go now to to see the whole thing uh, without the uh, paragraph text box you go to paragraph text frame and uncheck the show text frame and then you can also go to remove the guidelines you go to view uncheck guidelines so you could see the whole thing so that's it you can still adjust it because it's linked together so that's the end of my tutorial